Assemblyman, just to be clear, I didn't say, I didn't mention anything about fraud. Mine is simply the logistics that it's not going to get done. Why are we rushing something that's going to take hundreds and hundreds of people many, many days before and after election? Do I think there's some mail fraud? Yes. But my argument was the logistics of it, the financing of it, the timing of it. Why couldn't we have given it some time to make sure when we do something as monumental, it's done properly and correctly? And I, and then I have a question, and through the Speaker, if I can, just a Assemblyman, would you yield for a question? Of course. Yes. Do, can you, you know. really look me in the eyes, I know through our mask, and tell me, because I, I think we're not being clear that people are not able to use me, that you truly believe that we cannot have people safely vote on a machine? Can you really look me in the eye and tell me that come election day you think it's not safe for New Jersey residents to walk in and simply press a button? What I can tell you, Assemblyman, what I can tell you is, for instance, where I vote, which I is have in time a, hearing, I apologize. Sorry. Where I, how about now? Where I vote, which is a small ambul volunteer ambulance building with very low air circulation, a small building, where the poll workers, who are wonderful, wonderful people, but are elderly and are the same people every single year, right? I go in there. I don't know what's going on with that air handling. I don't know what else is happening in there. I, so can I tell you? with 100% certainty that it is safe or unsafe? No, I cannot. But what I can tell you is that by voting by mail, I'm removing that for most people, as we heard from the discussion before, and you can go in and vote provisionally, and those with disabilities obviously can go in. But I am reducing the possibility of transmission of COVID-19. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I mean, I don't think, look, I'm trying to get the magnitude, and, and, and again, it's, I'm not trying to, and sorry, that, that you're going to need thousands of poll workers to open all these ballots and count them, all crammed in rooms. So if your building is tight, my suggestion would be to move it to an auditorium, but to deny our basic right of voting, come on, we're doing this here today. So, so we can move it. We can move it to another spot to disenfranchise the voters. You're hiring the poll workers. The machines are there. And these ballots, they're not even coming in until 10 or 11 o'clock, and then weeks after. So I'm, I'm complaining of the system is going to be, it's going to take many times the money, the cost, and, and the safety. I honestly think by putting all these poll workers in these very large rooms, counting all the votes, in our, my district, we're having a tough time finding a spot to count these votes right now because the schools are like, hey, we don't want you in our schools. So this is going to have a, a much bigger problem on where are you going to put hundreds of thousands of ballots spread out so they're all counted properly. Mine is not a fraud issue. Mine's a logistics, a cost, and taking away a fundamental right of New Jersey residents. Mr. Speaker, through you then, if I may, may ask, because you've said this a couple of times now, how specifically is this disenfranchising people? What we've seen in other states, for instance, is that it enfranchises people. It increases turnout regardless of political affiliation. So I'm struggling to understand your statement that this will somehow disenfranchise people. Will this be a, the record number of VBMs that we've ever seen? Yes, it will be. Will we need to make sure that there are people there so that this is done safely and securely, so that your vote is counted accurately? Yes, we will. But how is this disenfranchising anyone in this state? The privacy of the electronic voting, as the leader said, to press the button on it. And, and the interaction, I said before, you know, colleague, you're, you're handing pens, you're handing ballots. We're not denying people the provisional, so they're in the place anyway. They're in that same ambulance squad you just described to me. They're in there anyway, but they're spending a hell of a lot more time because they're filling out a ballot, they're getting a pen, they're giving it. The argument doesn't hold mustard. It doesn't hold any water. It's not a safety issue. I know I'm not going to, it's not a safety issue why we're doing this. And, and also, I wanted to get on the record, those boxes are $5,000 a piece. During these economic times of $220 billion in debt, we're spending unnecessary money.